Hey everybody, it's uh, Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino Math. Uh, today's video is setting up and solving a proportion word problem. So here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the word problem. Vito uses 9 liters of water to water 24 flower pots. He is wondering how many liters of water, W, it would take to water 40 flower pots. He assumes he'll use the same amount of water on each pot. So here we go. Um, what I normally teach my students to do is to look at the first two numbers, because usually in a proportion problem, uh, they'll have the ratio as the first two numbers. And in this case, that is what we see. So let's go ahead and set that up. I always have my students write the very first number, nine, and then I want them to label what the number is talking about. So it's nine liters. So we're going to just put an L for liters. So Vito uses nine liters of water to every 24 flower pots. So that's the ratio. So I'm going to automatically put the 24 underneath here. And I'm going to put an F for flower pots. So there is our ratio. And with a proportion, you have two ratios that will equal each other. So I'm going to put my equal signs here. And the big confusion is where do I put that third number? So what I teach my students to always do is to look at what that third number is. So I'm going to come down here and go, it's 40, 40 what? Flower pots. So I always tell my students, you need to match uh, water with water and flower pots with flower pots or whatever the, the question says. So the big question is where does the 40 go? It's 40 flower pots so it has to go here at the bottom. So 40 and that F is for flower pots. And then the W is how many liters of water? So that would make sense. So that liters would end up matching with liters here. So if you've watched my video on how to solve a proportion, we can just take it straight from here. Uh, I, again, like to do the easy Z, which would look something like this. Divide across and multiply diagonally. Now we can't divide uh, 24 into 40, so we're going to simplify. What number goes into 9 and 24? That would be 3. So 3 into 9 is 3. And 3 into 24 is 8. And now we can do easy z. So here we go. We're going to divide 8 into 40, which is 5. And we're going to take this 5, and we're going to multiply it times this 3 over here. And that would give us 15. So the answer to this question is... Uh, how many liters of water would it take a veto to water 40 flower pots? It would be 15 liters. So hopefully that helps you set up a proportional word problem. So that way you're able to solve it uh, as you go from there. So does this always work out perfect? No, sometimes the question is written weird so that they don't give you this ratio right to start with. Um, but you'll just have to watch for it. So again, to recap, always set up the ratio first. Look at what that third number is and make sure that matches. Notice here I have an F and an F here. If it was liters, it would have been L and L. Just make sure they match uh, going horizontally. All right, you guys, hopefully that helps you solve a proportional word problem. I am Mr. Hino. Thanks for watching.